everyone welcome to create with child today i'll show you how to download your own font and create your own sentiment print and cut then foil with Cricut machine today first you go to create fabrica look for the font you want and you click download after this download it will locate it at your download file you want to extract the file once the file is extracted you open the file usually there are two types of font i always install the open type font file you right click on it to click show more option usually it's all the way on the bottom then you want to install for all users that way all the program you use will have this font installed available for it if you want to try create fabrica for free i have the link posted down below in the description make sure you click on it for more information or you just want to download this font sunshine i will provide the link down below for you to purchase it individually Now I open my design space. I make sure I click on the text, start typing the text I want. Once I type it, I want to make sure the font is black because I want to tone foil it when I print and cut. So after that, I go to the font and make sure I go to the system font because Sunshine, the word Sunshine font is I download it to my computer from Creative Fabrica. You want to select that. Once you select that, you click exit and your word will change to the font you selected. Before we create offset for the word hello, we want to adjust to the size that we want it to. In Design Space, we don't have to create registration mark when you do print and cut. We just have to make sure we flatten it and the software will automatically create a register box around the print and cut. Once we click the offset button, you will have adjust the distance however you want. It's personal trace and then you can select the corner you want to print it around it and then you want to route together and click apply. Once you create the offset, it will create a gray box. You adjust the color to white or transparency. Here I'm just showing you um, if I didn't select flatten, it will create a cut file for two separate files for the word hello and the uh, white offset background. So you want to make sure you select the word hello and the offset together and click flatten in it. Once you flatten it, you can click the duplicate on the top to duplicate how many words you want to print and cut. In Quicker, there's a space limit on print and cut. It doesn't uh, print and cut the whole in and half by 11. So if you select more, it will go to the next page. And then you could delete that if you want to just print and cut one, one page or more. It's up to you. Once you're ready to print and cut, click make it and continue and select the paper size and then um, they will search for your machine and then you click the printer that you want the print and cut to print and I usually turn off the bleed when I'm printing words because you're cutting the offset already, you don't need the bleed. On Design Space, you can print this um, ahead of time. Just when you're ready, you go to make it, and this option it says already print. Then you can just continue to the cutting process. Here, while I'm getting my mini mink ready, I on setting three. I'm taking off my words off my cutting mat. You see, I tape it because I don't want to make sure it moves when I'm cutting. When I do my sentiment print cut, then foil, I usually print and cut first because the registration mark is hard to read after you foil it. And plus, I'm doing the outline so I don't have to worry it's not going to foil perfectly.
With tonal foil dust is the enemy of foiling. You have to make sure you dust the foil and you dust the, your image. That way it doesn't have some black spot when you foil. Once it finished running in my mint machine, I wait for it to cool down completely before I rebuild. That way, I will make sure the toner foil adheres to the laser print. If you have Cameo machine, don't worry. I will also do a video showing how easy to do print, cut, and foil using Cameo 4. Stacy from SR Creation will also create a video using her Scan and Cut SDX125 showing you how to do print and cut then foiling using the machine. Here I'm just showing you the finished result on my foiling. I realized I didn't have my photo light on and when I turned it on you could see how beautiful and how flawless the foiling is. If you want to learn more about foiling, make sure you join Foiling Snow Club on Facebook group. I hope my video has inspired you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, if you want to try free trial of Create Fabrica, please use my link. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.